And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Demir Mill Control. We played this deck one other time. This was a, a donation deck from a little while ago. We played it one other time and it was a lot of fun. We went four and two last time and we lost both of our matches against Jund Sacrifice, but won the others. Because Jund Sacrifice, that's as we've talked about plenty, that's a hard deck to control. Uh, with, with their really cheap threats. And also, when you're a mill deck and your way of winning is milling your opponent out, that's not very good against uh, Cauldron Familiar either because those kitty cats keep coming back from the graveyard. So you don't really want... like Milling them is not really a great strategy either. But besides that, uh, we had we, you know, found a lot of success. De you know, like Demir control colors like have like some good removal, good interaction, and things like that. But finishing the games out with control decks is kind of tough you know find like turning that corner to really um really have the game locked down and then start uh you know start pulling ahead and start attacking that's kind of tough so instead of having to do that instead we can just you know have these cards that just mill our opponent while we're still playing defense and just attacking their library it's almost like getting that 60 card library down to zero instead of that 20 uh life total down to zero is kind of easier and so that's what we're doing, and it's all based around this Drowned Secrets card, this two-man enchantment. This is where our deck is at its best whenever we have this enchantment in play early. Um, so then every blue spell that we cast mills over two cards, and that just really adds up over time. And so like while we're uh, just playing cards that, that uh, deal with what the opponent has and interaction and stuff like that, they're all milling the opponent over. So yeah, not Lockmere Serpent, because we're not really trying to win with damage. You know, like Lockmere Serpent does a good job attacking and everything, but we're just getting rid of that library. That's what we're all about. Okay, Hawkeye. Well, let's play some Demir Mill. Let's try to mill out our opponents. So we'll put let's we're gonna play this through a league also. We're gonna play till we win five or lose two. Let's see how it does. So Ashiok, the, the problem with Ashiok is Ashiok exiles the opponent's graveyard and into the Story and Drown in the Lock are two really key cards for us, especially Drown in the Lock. Um, but then, yeah, Into the Story being a draw four. So, like, we can't we can't really exile their their graveyard. Um, but, yeah, Ashiok... If Ashiok didn't exile, she would work really well here. But since she does exile, it doesn't fit the other cards. All right, we've got a pretty good hand, good mana. Boo. We'll have Cry the Carnarium now. So, like for example, like Risen Reef decks are usually hard to, to control and attack, but if you're but because of all the card advantage. But if you start just milling them out, that card advantage, you can kind of use that as something that works against them. Come on, land. No land. All right, so we'll just pass the turn. And then if they have, because if they have Nyssa, maybe we need a Murderous Rider the Nyssa. If they just play an Elemental, I'll Tyrant Scorn the Risen Reef. They may have played the wrong land. Um, Persism Petitioners is in the format. Sage Road Denison. I think Sage Road Denison was in a... I think that's in the format. So they have three cards in there. We can figure a way out of this. It's a matter of give and take. 
That was good milling over that casualties of war. That's not a card I want to see. Recon versus brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Welcome to the channel. So we're going to, um, yeah, playing lands just don't give you priority. It's not like anything that goes on the stack that gives the other person priority. So like this is pretty nice. Like usually Cavalier of Thorns is a huge problem, right? Because they just get back the the Hydroid Crisis, and then you're just like, ugh, I have to kill this Cavalier. But then they get Hydroid Crisis back, and and you're like, you know, just like kicking yourself because you can't do anything about it, and you're all sad. But Jace wield some mysteries and whatever they put on top it goes away it's really nice what's up blinks thanks for getting that five month resub also bringing the hype so many hype boats from everybody in chat Um, so I could counter that, or I let it resolve and let them mill five. Um, I can't really say that Noctis Grass main deck is necessarily a mistake. I do play against a lot of green decks in the format, still. But it's, it's good for me that they drew it. Yeah, mill over some more cards. Huh, they took the Watery Grave instead of either Temple? That seemed like the one card they weren't going to take. I was hoping for a blue source where I could, like, double Seeker Keeper. Let's see this. See, it's, e it's hard to, like, turn the corner and start doing a whole bunch of damage. Easier just to attack their library. All right, so this does seem like a pretty decent Jace matchup. You know, putting your head against the table. We won. We won. All right, I don't think this is really an Enter the God Eternals matchup. It doesn't really kill everything that I needed to kill. We do want Ritual of Soot. We want Negate. We don't want ETGE. We do need these Negates, though. Um, you really don't need all these walls, to be honest. Probably want these either, Gus. I wish I had more sweepers. Right, excuse me. 
Um, Scorn gone. Not bad. Yeah, how guys doing pretty good. He's still still got a little bit of the runny nose. But he's definitely better. He's eating better. That's good. Hopefully draw a third land that we can just play and don't have to play the Fable Passage. Maybe I can have like Seeker Keeper plus still keep up Negate or anything like something like that. Well, that is the third land. Ceratops. All right, well, two Ceratops gone. Yeah, that was a great mill. Crasis, Dispute, Ceratops, that was a great mill. Stop. Why do they got to be like this? Okay. Another murderous rider. Power surges through these lands. Be wary of the ground you All right, well, I guess I should have kept the negate up instead of casting that into the story. I, I basically I didn't want my into the story getting countered, which is why I cast it during my turn, but I, I wish I would have kept the negate available. Now. Ceratops gonna kill me. I need to draw like Swamp and then play both Murderous Riders and double block it. I don't know, Hawkeye. What do you think? Think we can? Do we can get there? <laughs> Why are you putting your head down? It's not over yet. Yeah, I did have a ton of Ceratops early, that's for sure.
I don't want them to ramp. Okay, we drew Swamp. No removal. Oh, awesome, J Jack. No removal. Trade. I'd be pretty surprised if they just attacked here and without removal and just let me trade one rider for one ceratops. Like if this works, I'll be really surprised. Okay, well, color me surprised. I just traded one rider for a ceratops. Ritual of Soot. Ooh. Where's the lands? We've gotten rid of four mystical disputes. If we just don't die here, we can ritual of soot with negate backup. And then play Seeker Keeper. To block again. Yeah, Gadwick doesn't tap the lands. Could Yep, that's true. They're at 28. Still have a lot of life. I'm kind of out of ways to kill Nissa, though. They just not even tick up Nissa. Well, that's good. Farther away from a Nissa ult. Well, yeah, I, I think it makes sense to not animate the land, honestly, because it seemed like that I kind of needed a wrath. I think that makes sense. I probably would not have animated a land either because how they're struggling with lands, but they they didn't tick up Nissa though. You know, like they didn't just tick, you know, they you tick up Nissa, you just don't target a land. They have 22 cards left. Down to eighteen. We'll make this look easy. This will come in handy. Hmm. All right, let them draw their card first.
This is like the way that Demir can... Can handle like this deck that like just never runs out of cards is you just get rid of their cards. They never run out. Yeah, either gust with with Jace and with Drown Secrets is so awesome. You just put it back on top and then you mill it over. Love either gust with those. All right, so even against those Ceratops, we we ended up getting there. Murderous Rider was super key. Zakadoom. Not only did we get to Murderous Rider stuff, but then play. You know, we got to Swift End things, but then play the Murderous Rider. And that's a sub goal, sub number 10 on the day. Ooh, swamp, swamp, swamp. Do, 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 mulligan, do, 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 do. Ooh, I like this hand. I mean, I just like that we have Drown Secrets, Wall, Jace. That's pretty nice, I think. Put back the castle. Yeah. Hey, Noxious Girl. Yeah, I'm having an amazing day. I'm really looking forward to streaming some Overcooked 2 with Boot. We may be doing that after this league. Um, the person, the donation deck, the person that donated for that is not here. And so it's basically either play it with them not here, which I don't think I want to do. So it's either just play a different, you know, just pick a different deck to play or just play three MTG decks and then play over cooked two. I'm not sure. We'll kind of see. No scheming symmetry in here, no. That is a cool one with Drowned Secrets, though. Really good with Jace. I don't like this Knight of the Ebon Legion. I don't like my opponent being so aggressive. I like them playing like the slow draw a whole lot of cards deck. Cause then we mill them out. And that's that's good. Hey Master Blaster. taking so long I doubt we're beating the triple one drop start main deck drill bit come on There you go. They have it all. We need to draw Swamp and Ritual of Soot next turn. I don't think that's possible.
It's like we're dead. I don't want to put the drown secrets in the graveyard and show them any anything more. <clears throat> All right. Well, I got those three spells and a Kefnet to bring in. Um, Ethergust could do a little bit of work. Um, I actually don't really mind Jace. I kind of feel like we don't have time to play Drown Secrets. That's what it seems like. But maybe our deck's not powerful enough without Drown Secrets. The reason to play more Jaces is because, you know, like we have just like interaction, you know, like we need to play like Jace on turn four. They can keep ref refilling our hands so we can keep killing their stuff and give me two cards a turn. And Kefnet and Gadwick are, are blockers. Like this is like the matchup with Kef Kefnet's for like and Gadwick can tap stuff down. Um, yeah, into the story only draws cards. It doesn't do anything else. It costs four mana. I kind of think maybe Thought Erasure. No, probably need to keep Thought Erasure. No, maybe I just play the two Jaces. Okay. Just the two Jace. Yeah, I probably don't need the third one. I was dead on turn two, and that game still took ten minutes. We would have had more of a prayer if we would not have if we didn't mulligan if we had the seven cards. If I would have had that extra black mana source, so we would have had four lands. Um, then you know we would have been been less you know like we would have had more of a prayer. Of drawing ritual of set, but you know, as was, we didn't we didn't have the mana to cast ritual of set, even if we would have drawn it. Obviously, we didn't draw. It. We were we were just gonna be dead. But epic downfall. Why don't you draw those? Draw epic downfalls. Lining up for us well this game, but I'm not sure how much I like my chances against the duress drill bit, like super aggro duress drill bit deck, even if we win this, if we have to play game three. This won't be an upset if we win this. <laughs> oh, come on, draw blue land.
said this is going to be a long, boring game. Yay. Jace goes down to one. Was that supposed to hurt? Let's try this. We have plenty of life. Jace is is kind of see the importance of Jace. And I guess against all these discard spells, maybe I should be playing my third Jace after sideboard. <clears throat> you know, it gives me that top deck card. I mean, I think they should board in the discard. They just kind of got unlucky and drew five discard spells. The epic downfalls are, are very unnecessary. Like, those should not be in the deck. <clears throat> so that the epic downfalls are the oversight boarding. The discard spells are good. They just drew only discard. Hey, what's up, boot? So, yeah, basically, boot, the deal is <clears throat> we're playing this deck right now. Ken just donated for the mono white life gain deck, but isn't here. And so, I guess I'm going to wait, wait on the deck until he's here. So that may be. Probably should be attacking. Boo. See, I may just wait till tomorrow. For that deck. But then at that point, we're basically... Do I just play another? Do we just choose, you know, go to the go to the, like the deck list and... Go to the decks section and just pick out another deck to play today? Or do we just go play some Overcook too? I don't know. Okay. So of course I'm just gonna let them discard their card. <clears throat> uh, I wasn't a card to discard. I don't think New Thassa would be real necessary in this deck. I don't, I don't think New Thassa would work super well in this deck. But I do like New Thassa. I think it's just for other decks. So Jace was awesome. Would I just play Jace over Gadwick? Maybe? Maybe? 
No, I'm going to stick with the two chases. Yeah, I like new Thassa. I like how you can find Thassa with Vanifar and... You know, you can go, you can go put it into play with Vanifar. <clears throat> or the other card. You know, the one that's like Vanifar. Um, the blue-green. Two-drop. Hawkeye went to go lay down. He's back. Uh, you can't quite see him on the camera. He's like right back there on the couch. Neoform, that one. So yeah, Neoform, Vanifar. You can play an ETB Blink deck. Oh, no, I should... Uh... Yeah, I, I should have just kept the Water Grave. Yep, this is standard. unfortunate. Registor did turn on my Stormfist Crusader. I'm sorry, did turn on my Drown the Lock to kill the Stormfist Crusader. But obviously I have to be worried about this Ember Cleave. I can't just let them attack with both and then Ember Cleave. Darn it. Yes, I'm dead, aren't I? Still dead. Ugh. So, of course, I wanted them to discard the Regisaur, then I was going to Murderous Rider the Regisaur, and then so I could enter the God Eternals this. But I need them to not hit those land drops. You like, remember whenever I thought Seize before, they only had two lands, and I see I need them to not hit this fifth land, and they did. I mean, how, how can I stay alive? Like, Ember Cleave kills me. Well, why, why would they cleave? They have lethal. They're not going to cast Ember Cleave. Yeah. Rider in response to what? Like they just they're just going to damage and then I just die. 
What if I cast Rider, then they just cast Ember Cleave. They don't have to though. Okay, so yeah, I let, I let first strike happen. I take one. I go down to eight. And then I... Oh, yeah, that, that is the way to stay alive. But then I can't stay alive, though. So I... Yeah, so I could have gone to one. Yeah, you're right. I could have gone to one. But then I can't deal with the five five. Because then at that point, the other creature is a five five. The big creature. And, and the end of the God Eternals doesn't kill it. Yeah, I could have gone to one. Um, uh, drown in the lock. Yeah, I mean, I could. I mean, I guess drown in the lock was that would have been the. Did I have enough black sources? I maybe didn't have enough black sources to have cry the because I need cry the carnarium and drown in the lock. Yeah, the first strike, that's true. I didn't really think about how how Ember Cleave interacts with first strike if I let the first strike damage happen. Because they had a first strike creature. No, stop stop being so aggressive. Cranko, Tin Street Dodger, light up the stage. I'm gonna take light up the stage. And look for black mana. Hey, we do have a thousand viewers in here. That is awesome. Welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. If you're, new to the, if you're newer to the channel, that's what I do every day. Play Magic the Gathering. Uh, we're going to be doing, for like the first time ever, we're going to be playing a game that's not Magic the Gathering. Today. Like later tonight. And of course, I have the YouTube channel. Put up all the replays on there. If you're not following there, I play usually four decks a day. That's usually the thing. Like every single day, we play four different decks. And all arena. Black mana. Ooh, got rid of two cavalcades. Yeah, I I just got you know in the mail like the. The card, the graphics card capture, I don't know what you call it, that, you know, I just, I plugged it into the computer today, and, um, and yeah, I got it set up, so, basically, I'll be playing, I'll be playing on, like, my, my TV that's above me, like, I have my two monitors here that y'all can see, and then, like, I like, what, that's how my setup is, it's, like, a two, two-level thing, that's why I want to move the camera up, and, you know, that's, Whatever that's called. It's another shelf. So I'll be kind of looking up and playing on the TV. And Boot's going to be in there too. It's a two-player game. And so we'll be having a lot of fun. And Dark Smile. Getting the gifted sub. Scratch. Swamp. I want that Jace too. Just after the swamp. Oh wait. Now I can't kill Cranko. The records are over here. As far as like the the deck records for other like for like just the deck lists. 
<clears throat> um. The only place for that is just at like the en the end of the stream. You know, like go and if you if you watch like the replays on YouTube, if you just want to you know scroll to the end, you can see the record at the end of the video on on YouTube. Um, but I, they're not like Stream Decker. It's not e there's not like a spot to like put the record on the deck or anything like that. They don't have them. They're not really written down anywhere else. Dang, two Torbrands. Yeah, they had to draw land. I just milled over four straight spells. Puts me down to three. Too bad I don't have enough black mana. Need more black mana. Yeah, this has definitely turned into an aggro format for sure. Full of set. Hmm. <laughs> Just wish I had one more black mana this whole time. Even now, like, if I just had one more black mana this turn, we would have been fine. Last turn, we definitely would have been fine. Even this turn, we would have been fine. So I'm taking exact lethal right now. Nope, never mind. Go to negative one. Either Gust, save me. I don't know. Murderous Rider is kind of weird. Like the, the whole lose two life bit is not great, but then the whole two three life linker part is super great. <clears throat> I guess either guess isn't going to be as good, um, if we don't have drown secrets. It's basically two mana exile any of their permanents or spells. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Oh, Thought Erasure. There we go. Yeah, Thought Erasure's gone. Get that out of here.
Crap coin! Thank you, Boo. We have super slow mana. Super slow mana. We're not going to play anything until turn three, but it's a good hand. Well, Kiefer Sutherland. Pretty decent musician, too. I like this song. I know, we do get Fable Passage opening hand every single game. For sure. Rochian! My schemes are never ending. Yeah, he's a musician too. Yeah, this is Kiefer Sutherland. Uh, Something You Love is the name of the song. That gets me up to 13. Can I kill that? Not yet. Yeah, whatever. Go spit your fire somewhere else. What do you think? This is open mic night? I don't have to do it right now. I can wait. No. Bad tour brand. Yeah, Chandra, Chandra's spitting fire like it's open mic night. I should have just killed Chandra. Killed that Spitfire instead of Torbran. Torbran, I could at least just block. Oh, come on. Our mana has, has really gotten us some of these games with us just getting stuck on three lands. land. You draw back-to-back -back lands. Play Kefnet, then enter the God Eternals. Looks like they probably have Heartfire. Yep. So now Scorch Spitter attacking is going to kill me. You can fully draw the land. Well, that was rough. Defeated. Alright, so it looks like Red Aggro can still beat the Mill deck. 
So it looks like it has has a good matchup somewhere. It can beat the mill deck. Um, man, we have 25 lands? Gosh, we could not draw lands. Yeah, like, that was, there was multiple of those games that we lost that just us just having three lands. Couldn't do stuff. But there we go. Demir Mill. Still going to just struggle against the red aggro. No, this is not a, a runaway together kind of deck. I mean, the thing is, is runaway together does absolutely nothing unless you have one of these seven creatures in play. I mean, it's, I mean, I guess it could do something with these creatures too, but I don't think that's that's really anything we'd want because it's like how where would we fit it in? We'd probably cut like some of these creatures to play it anyway. Um, this deck could play like Ops instead of Wall of Lost Thoughts. Like we probably don't need uh, probably don't need this many walls. Could play like two opt and just go down to five walls like that's probably fine yeah i think i'd want to change that opt of course triggers drown drown secrets it triggers gadwick at instant speed um but then just just helps us find smooth out our draws a little bit helps us find what we need helps us hit that land drop to get to enter the god eternals um, helps us find the entry of the Guide Eternals when we have a lot of lands. I think five of these is probably enough. We probably don't need seven. Um, no, I mean, well, that's Jason Gadwick or how we win. You say they look good when we're winning, and that that's why we're winning, is because we were drawing the two cards a turn for Jace. If we weren't drawing two cards a turn, we, we wouldn't be winning. That's why they looked good. Uh, I don't like Overwhelmed Apprentice at all. I don't think Overwhelmed Apprentice is, is very good. You know, it just scry, it's scry two. Um, I mean, I guess against specifically against that deck filled with one ones, then it, it could be okay there. But just the one two, like basically a one two doesn't do anything in combat except for against Cavalcade, basically. But yeah, like the one two doesn't do anything in combat. So like you need you need your card to like trade with something or at least at least be able to block for a while, which the O fours can block for a while. Yeah, I just don't really like that card at all. Yeah, the scry effect would help, but but opt is better because it can scry, it it replaces itself also. Where like the one two doesn't would just like chump block most of the time. Gargoyle is gargoyle doesn't isn't a reliable blocker. The attacking doesn't really matter. If Gargoyle could just like block all the time, I would I would like it a lot more. You know, if it could like block whenever they had like seven cards in their graveyard, something like that. But it's just not a reliable blocker. <clears throat> all right, but there we go. There's Demir Mill. Uh, looks real good with the one um, mid range deck we played against, but then the two red aggro decks. We're just a little too fast for us. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. So Demir Mill, though, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there and uh, over there on YouTube, for those of y'all watching over there. And uh, feel free to leave the comments and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.